Hi, I'm Stephanie with the Busher Team. As a former educator, it didn't take long for me to see the need for a quick video about the ins and outs of selling your home. It's like most people understood that this was something they would do in their lifetime, but they didn't know the basics and they didn't feel comfortable asking questions. So this quick overview is about selling your property in my area, the greater St. Louis market. So let's talk services and fees. When you contract a licensed realtor, you're getting your property listed on the MLS or the multiple listing service. This feeds out to all of those popular apps and websites like Zillow and HomeSnap. So it's very important because without this, potential buyers would need to drive around town and look for the for sale sign in your yard. Along with this, you're also getting a lockbox put on your property so that those potential buyers and their agents can easily view the property. But don't worry, you're still in charge. You receive text message notifications for those appointment requests and you can approve them or deny them. But most importantly, when you hire a professional, you're getting someone who can navigate you through this important transaction. A transaction that can sometimes become hairy with negotiations and sometimes even emotions. Now those are the basic services provided, but keep in mind that some agents go above and beyond. They may offer things like open houses or professional photos or staging consultation before the photos or my personal favorite, online targeted marketing that goes beyond the scope of the MLS. The list goes on, so be sure to ask what's included when you interview agents for your listing. So what does all this cost? In my area, the greater St. Louis market, the typical rate is 6%, and that is split between the buying agent and the selling agent. Now please note that rates vary from region to region, and they vary within region. Not all agents charge the same rate. So let's see how this translates. Let's say you list your house for $200,000 and you receive an offer for $200,000. So assuming that everything goes flawless with inspections and appraisal and title and survey, then you're on track to receive $200,000 minus 6% or $12,000. Please note that any outstanding mortgage you have would also come from that sale. All right, so I'm not here to tell you that that's not a significant amount of money. It is. Even if your agent is below that typical rate, it is still a significant amount of money to you as the seller and to the agents involved. You should know that most brokerages, or that is the establishments that hold the individual realtor's licenses, they charge a fee from their realtor's commission, and that's for all the support and services that they provide. Realtors also have to pay fees that are directly related to your transaction, like fees from the MLS and fees for those lockboxes. But most importantly, you need to know that you have the power and control to hire a realtor that you trust. You need to feel comfortable asking questions. There's a great deal not covered in this brief video, and there are no dumb questions when it comes to a transaction that you're only gonna do a couple times in your life. So if you hire someone that you feel comfortable with, you will feel empowered when it comes time to sell your property. Please reach out if you have any specific real estate questions. Chances are, if I don't know the answer, that will, our resident CPA and the other half of the Busher team, he probably does know the answer. And if we both don't know, we will certainly research to find out. Thank you so much for watching.